from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Thursday, May the 4th, 2023. Israeli security forces conducted a counter-terror operation today to arrest the Palestinian terrorists who murdered Lucy D and her daughters Maya and Rina just under a month ago. The IDF said this morning in a joint operation led by the ISA, Israeli security forces, with IDF and Yamam, counter-terrorism activities were conducted Using precise intelligence from the Shin Bet, Israel's security agency, we were able to neutralize the terrorists who committed the horrific attack. During that operation, Israeli forces entered the old city of Nablus in the West Bank after being given information as to the location of the terrorists and tried to flush them out of the building they were in. In the gun battle that ensued, the two terrorists and a senior operative who aided them were killed. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said after the operation, this morning we settled accounts with the murderers of Lucy, Maya, and Rina D. May their memories be blessed. Our message to those who harm us and those who want to harm us is that whether it takes a day, a week, or a month, you can be certain that we will settle accounts with you. It does not matter where you try to hide, we will find you. Whoever attacks us will pay the price. Also this morning in the West Bank, a female Palestinian terrorist attacked an IDF soldier in the village of Hawara. The IDF said the soldier was slightly injured, repelled and neutralized the terrorist together with another soldier. The injured soldier received treatment at the scene and was taken to the hospital for further attention. And Prime Minister Netanyahu met today in Jerusalem with a bipartisan U.S. congressional delegation led by House of Representatives Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence Chairman Michael Turner. Netanyahu's office said he thanked the members of Congress for their broad support of Israel from both sides of the aisle. Also noting that in response to a question about Iran, Netanyahu warned the delegation that Iran is a threat to Israel and to the U.S., saying that Iran is 50 North Koreas. Israel's Defense Minister Yoav Gallant also warned about the Iranian threat in his remarks today visiting Athens, telling his Greek counterpart Nikolaos Panagiotopoulos, so far Iran has gained material enriched to 20 percent and 60 percent for five nuclear bombs. Iranian progress, he said, and enrichment to 90 percent would be a grave mistake on Iran's part and could ignite the region. Israel's President Isaac Herzog and his wife Michal landed in London today to attend the coronation of King Charles this coming Saturday. He tweeted, Michal and I are proud to be representing Israel at the coronation ceremony for King Charles III in London alongside world leaders from across the globe and local Jewish community representatives. On behalf of the people of Israel, we congratulate the king and queen and the entire British nation on this momentous occasion and relay our warmest wishes for many years of blessing, success, and bold friendship with the state of Israel. President Herzog's office, meanwhile, as demonstrations against the judicial overhaul continued today, said that the first round of talks to reach a compromise on the crisis were now completed. Cited by the Times of Israel saying that the goal of the first round of talks was to allow the sides to present in a broad, detailed and reasoned manner their positions on the different issues and that the negotiations are expected to continue out of a full commitment to trying to reach a broad agreement. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Thursday, May the 4th at 7 o'clock, it's a look at some illustrious Jewish alumni from New York City's City College. At 9, we remember Kent State on this date, May the 4th of 1970 on the Chaim. At 10, a look at Jewish icons during the 60s. And coming up next, I speak with Washington Bureau Chief of the JTA, Ron Campius, about the significance of Speaker of the House Kevin McCarthy's address to Israel's Knesset earlier this week.
And that's the JBS News Update for Thursday, May the 4th, 2023. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy, stay well.